When Vicky Bulge lost her leg in the Smiler crash at Alton Towers, she feared she would never walk again. But now the 20-year-old has been fitted with a state-of-the-art prosthetic leg. And this morning, she's going to show us how it's transformed her life. Yes, I'm with Vicky now, just outside the studio. It's absolutely lovely to see you, Vicky. You. The last time we saw you was towards the end of last year, and you didn't have a leg at that time fitted. And now you have this sort of bionic leg, this prosthetic leg. Yes. When did it get fitted? Let's walk into the studio. How, how has it changed your life, having this special leg fitted? It's just a lot more natural. I've got a lot more energy, so... I can do a lot more things like go see my friends, just do normal things that a normal 20-year-old would do. Yeah, how does it move differently compared to an, an, an ordinary fitted leg? The socket detects what I'm doing, so the way I move my stump, it will detect how fast I'm moving, so it slowly Hello. come through. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. you come too. and have a seat. So it, it's a sort of, a, it's an intelligent leg, isn't it? Yeah, it's very clever. Yeah. And when did it get fitted? Um, a few weeks ago, but I had a two-week trial just before that. I mean, that was amazing to watch you do that. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Thank you. It is a barnet leg, isn't it? Are you, are you amazed that you're able to walk in almost a completely normal way as you just did? Yeah, absolutely. I always think I'm doing worse than I am, and then I see a video and I'm always shocked. Like, I, I thought I've got, like, a pretty bad limp, but it turns out it's OK. <laughs> no, it <laughs> is, it's incredibly mm. natural movement as well. Are there some, any downsides to it? You were saying it sort of it makes a noise. Yeah, because the foot, I can't have the foot that I have on the other legs that I've had because because I'm so short, basically. I've not got yeah. much room for a proper ankle underneath the leg because it's like such like, big components. So I've just I've got just a normal foot at the moment, so I've got to be careful with what shoes wear. I've got, just got to be flat. You can't wear heels. No, not no. with this leg. It's just flats, yeah. yeah. How, what did you think about your prospects for walking again in the aftermath of the accident? I didn't know whether I would walk again. Um, obviously, I didn't know whether I'd lose my leg in the first place. And now, looking back, I know that if I'd kept my leg, I'd, I'd probably still be in a hospital bed. I wouldn't be walking at all. So they made the decision to remove... It was an infection, so they leg. had to remove the leg, and then yeah. they had to go higher just to make sure the um, infection was completely cleared. Mm. You're a remarkable young woman. <laughs> I've, I've watched you since this happened, and the courage that you've shown, but also just the kind of spirit and the get on with life attitude you have. I mean, that's not easy. Mm. It's not easy some days. I have really bad days, but obviously everyone around me and even people I don't know support me so much. It's, I don't want to let anyone down. I think I'm scared of letting people down more than anything. So I think I want people to realize that no matter what you have been through, you can still do whatever you want. You can still follow your dreams. I mean, also, you're a, you're a great role model because there are a lot of people unfortunately in this country who lose limbs mm. and who go through the terrible trauma that you've been through and to watch you on national television bounding through here and then talking so positively that really has an impact on them yeah i hope so yeah. that's all i'd want well you've been getting lots of messages of mm. support um and we have a message of support for you as well from someone from boston who wants to say hello Hi, Vicky. My name is Adrian Haslett Davis, and I am a survivor of the Boston Marathon bombings. And I heard about what happened with the roller coaster and the horrific events. But I also heard some good news that you're about to receive your first prosthetic. Uh, I'm running this year in the Boston Marathon, and I just want you to know that even on the days when it's difficult and it hurts to wear it first, that it is going to allow you so much freedom. And I'm so happy for these next steps, pun intended. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm a bit, I'm shocked. Um, yeah, the leg can be painful sometimes. It's nice to have, like, you need a bit more motivation sometimes because it can rub and it can, there's so many things that can go wrong with it. Sometimes you just need that little bit of an extra push and that's definitely given me a... Do you still get the kind of phantom pain that people talk about when they have amputations? From... Yeah, it's been better than in the first place. Um, I'm mm. slowly reducing my medication, so I get a bit, little bit more, but it's not... It's not painful as such, it's just a sensation, like, say, if the dog comes near me, like, it'll lick my hand or something, it'll freak me out and my leg will start tingling. Mm. But it's not, like, a full-size leg, it'll be, like, just below my socket or something. It's, it's weird, it's hard to would explain. You, would you ever go on a roller coaster again? I should say no, but I don't want to let anything beat me. 
I wouldn't go in anything like that again. Like, no way. My mum's probably hating me for saying this. Um, she'll be having a fit. But I don't want to say no because I really don't want to let it beat me. That's interesting. So you feel that's a kind of challenge for you that you want to surmount. You don't want that to yeah, be Yeah, it won't be anything near that size at all. It'll, I don't know, just be like a little one that rocks back and forth or something. Do you feel angry that the smiler is continuing? Would you have liked to have seen it discontinued? Or do you think it was just one of those terrible things? It's one of those terrible things, but I was always... I never thought that it'd be shut down or knocked down or I'd, I wouldn't say no to it at all like I don't want to see it reopen it was it wasn't nice seeing that at all like people going back on it and getting messages saying oh I've been on the smile ride and I'm okay things like that it wasn't nice but at the same time I wanted to go on that ride in the first place so mm. it's personal preference really mm. and what's the thing that keeps you going you say you know there's there's tricky times and there's painful times what, what lifts you all the support more than anything and realizing that I, I can't let anybody down who watches me or sort of who contacts me or family and friends especially mm -hmm.